Now, uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Oregon, Mr. Schrader. Gentleman from Oregon is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise today in strong support of the 21st Century Cures Act and to thank Chairman Upton, uh, my friends Mr. Plom, Ms. Deget, and Mr. Green for their leadership and willingness to work across the aisle to produce this quality piece of legislation. For too long, Congress has been shirking its responsibility when it comes to funding the critical research that will lead to cures and treatments at the NIH. Our scientists, physicians, and medical institutions are getting closer every day to medical breakthroughs, and this will help families save lives. My state alone, NIH, is funding research into new therapeutic avenues to combat cancer, heart disease, and illnesses borne by pollution. It's time to streamline the path for critically needed medical devices and pharmaceuticals for vulnerable populations that can't afford to wait. This bill takes a giant step forward to help fix the mental health infrastructure of our country. Currently, as a result of the mental health system's inadequacy, our emergency rooms, our prisons, and our homeless shelters are full of people who are uh, having trouble getting that care they need. The status quo is not okay. This bill moves us in the right direction through innovation and integration of mental health services for the overall health care system. The Cures Act enhances the capabilities of our law enforcement and first responders, strengthens our crisis intervention programs, and ensures that our Medicaid program does not deny access to beneficiaries seeking mental health care. It also includes a number of Medicare provisions to make sure seniors aren't left behind by bureaucratic red tape. Getting to this point wasn't easy. Democrats and Republicans didn't always agree on every provision of this bill, but we're able to work together and find common ground and produce a bill that takes great strides to producing better health care outcomes for Americans. I hope the President-elect and members of this body are taking note of this achievement today as we move forward instead of pushing through divisive, harmful policies that will reduce access to quality health care. Let's work together and produce better results for all Americans. Gentleman from Oregon's time has expired. Gentleman from New Jersey Reserves.